Number one, your nervous system. Right here is your brain. This part of your brain is called your cerebrum. This part of your brain is called your cerebellum. Now, right here, as you can see, is your brain cell. Right here is your spinal cord. Your brain sends all the messages around your body. Your heart is an involuntary muscle. So, the brain doesn't need to tell the heart what to do. The heart just pumps it automatically. That's why it's called involuntary. But most of the parts are voluntary. That means they have, they have, they actually have to get messages from the brain. See right now I'm moving my arms. The brain is telling my arms to move because I need to. Now, now number two, respiratory system. This are your lungs. Inside your lungs looks, in, looks like an upside down tree. From your trachea, it's kind of like the trunk. From your bronchi, it kind of looks, and your bronchial tubes, it kind of looks like your branches. And your alveoli looks like the leaves. Now I'll teach you what those are. Your trachea is right here. Your trachea is when you breathe in, your trachea goes down, your, the oxygen goes to your trachea and into your bronchi. And your bronchi starts with these tubes called your bronchial tubes. Then goes to your alveoli, which also, there are some capillaries in your lungs. <coughs> Everybody breathe in, everybody breathe out. That's with your diaphragm. Most people think that when you breathe in, you this out. Breathe in, it goes up. But really, when you breathe in, it goes down. So when you suck it in, it lets your lungs get it. So it goes down. And, it, and the carbon dioxide, it lets it pump out. Because we don't breathe in carbon dioxide. So your alveoli are tiny air sacs that are at the end of your bronchi, or bronchial tubes. Your bronchial tubes are tiny tubes that are connected to your bronchi. Your bronchi is two little tubes that connect to your trachea. And uh, your trachea is also called a windpipe. Now, number three, the circulatory system. The circulatory system is like kind of with your blood blood vessels and your and your okay. your Zachary, blood vessels stop. and your blood cells and your white blood cells and your heart your heart as you know is involuntary so it pumps the blood the respiratory and circulatory system collaborate the circulatory system has like that. Your heart is right here, and your lungs are right here, so it's kind of like, you know, holding up. Now, the blood vessels go to your body. You see right here, you could see these. The blue is not blood vessels. It actually does not carry food. If you can see there's some red. The red is the one that carries the oxygen. And the blue is the carbon dioxide. Now, there's some, there's supposed to be the, the blood, the red blood cells. But there's also ones called white blood cells. Number four. The skeletal system. Without the skeletal system, you won't be able, your lungs would be wobbling around everywhere, <laughs> and your brain would just fall apart. We need our skeletal system to protect our organs, and we need it to hold it up. Our rib cage is right here. It's protecting your lungs and your heart. Did your, and your diaphragm. Zachary. Stop messing with all that. Look.
Get down. Your skull protects Zachary. your brain. And if you could feel, and if you could feel right here, it's called your jaw. It's part of your skull. Now, all of this is your skull. But you can't see it because the skin covers it. So mostly, the skeletal system protects organs. And it helps it, your body stand straight. Number five, your muscular system. Your muscular system helps you move. There's muscles right here, muscles right here. And your heart is a muscle, but it's involuntary. So really it doesn't it works like that. Your muscles help you dance, help you run, help you walk. It, it mostly helps you move. The skeletal system collaborates with the muscular system because without the skeletal system, the muscular system will be able to move, but you'll be way down to the floor. Because the bones help it keep straight up. Also, part of your spinal cord. If you go back here, there's a little bump and some twitches. So, that part it also protects you. So, your muscular system helps you move. And, Maddie, what are you doing? Hmm? Huh? You listening to music? Are you listening to Maddie, to Lila? No. How oh, come? Lila's teaching some interesting information. And now, I'm going to tell you about the Native Americans. Native Americans! Okay, Delilah, why are you jumping from health, all this medical system in your body to Native, Native Americans? Because I'm teaching you about two things. Okay, well, can we, can we, can we take a rest? And you can talk about Native American okay. later. Native American. Lila. Can we talk I'm about Native? Okay. Three tracks. Can you hang on? Can we take a rest? Okay.